Let's find the limit of 2 times 1 minus cosine x over x as x approaches 0. Without the 2, this is a pretty famous limit that you might know the value of, in which case this problem is trivial. But for those of you who don't already know what this limit equals, let's see. If you want to give this a try yourself, here's a hint, use the conjugate. The reason the conjugate is useful here is because the conjugate of 1 minus cosine x is 1 plus cosine x. And when you multiply a sum or a difference of terms by its conjugate, you get the difference of squares. And if we had the difference of squares, that would be 1 minus cosine squared. And then we could use the Pythagorean identity. So to evaluate this limit, the first thing we'll do is multiply it by the conjugate, 1 plus cosine x. And of course, we can't just multiply by that in the numerator. We have to do it in the denominator too, so that we're not changing the value of the expression. Now, in the numerator, what's going to happen is we get 1 minus cosine x times 1 plus cosine x. Hopefully you know how the conjugate works. If you do this multiplication out, the middle terms will cancel out because of the minus and the plus, and then we'll just be left with 1 squared and minus cosine squared, like that. In the denominator, we will not distribute, just leave that as x times 1 plus cosine x. When evaluating these limits, it's usually a good idea to leave things factored unless you have a plan for it. Like in the case of the conjugate, we know multiplying in the numerator is going to get us closer to our goal. Because once we distribute and get that 1 minus cosine squared x, we can replace it with sine squared of x. Because of course we know that sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. So 1 minus cosine squared x is equal to sine squared x. Now, this sine squared x is two factors of sine x. One of those we can take out into a separate limit along with this x in the denominator. That's going to give us another famous limit that hopefully you know. So the idea is we take one factor of sine x out along with this x in the denominator and just split this limit of a product up into a product of limits. So we have the limit of sine x over x times what remains once we take out the sine x in the numerator is just sine x because we also took out the 2 because why not? And in the denominator, since we took the x out into its own limit, we're just left with 1 plus cosine x in the denominator. Now, if you're asking if we can just do this, if we can just split the limit of a product up into a product of limits like this, as long as these limits exist, the answer is yes. And in this case, they do. The limit of sine x over x as x approaches 0, hopefully you know, is equal to 1. There's a link in the description to my lesson proving that if you're unfamiliar with it. So this is just 1. 2, of course, is just 2. And as for sine x over 1 plus cosine x, we can just plug in 0. Sine of 0 is 0, and cosine of 0 is 1. So this is 0 over 1 plus 1. And then we just have to do the multiplication. 2 times 1 times 0 is 0. Now, you may have known from the jump that 1 minus cosine x over x as x approaches 0 is equal to 0. And if you know that, then of course having a factor of 2 in the numerator doesn't change that fact. It's still just 0. So that's how to evaluate this simple trig limit. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. If you find my Calculus 1 videos helpful, please consider supporting what I do by joining Wrath of Math as a channel member. You can get access to extra practice, exclusive videos, and access to the lecture notes that you see in the lessons. Thanks for watching. Oh. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.